Good evening, YouTubers. I have something that I am excited to show. And it's this puppy. See that, the black pepper? And I know it looks just like regular black pepper, but it's not, it's like squeezy. It's plastic, it's not like the hard metal. Look at the bottom. So, it's basically a, a new packaging for black pepper. And I love it, look at it. It's like more easier to, it's bigger, wider. They even have like a spoon slot for you to dig the spoon in, which they never had before on a normal can. I wish I had, um, I actually used it. I was waiting to open this. I had gotten this one for Thanksgiving and I still had some of the old one. But um, I normally do, on the second shelf, I normally just do salt and pepper because I feel like they're a married couple. They need to be in the house by themselves. So always put like the salt and pepper on its own shelf until I started buying the organic brands of McCormick. And the reason why I had got them, because for Thanksgiving, you know, me and my brother, he always talking about his seasonings, his seasonings, how good he, um, how good he is with his seasonings. So I had made like a lot of home, a lot of, uh, I can't talk. <laughs> now, I don't know what people mean when they just lose what they can ready to say. But anyways, I brought a lot. I didn't buy. I made a lot of stuff from home scratch for Thanksgiving for the very first time. And because I did it that way, I wanted to make sure I had the right stuff to do it with. So I had got an organic smoked paprika. And mind you, each jar is like $7 plus. So I spent like a lot of money. And I had got organic thyme which is really good to put on turkey or your chicken. And what else did I get? Oh, yeah. And when I'm watching different foodery things, they're always talking about bay leaves. So I got organic bay leaves. And um, I love the containers. Like, even after I use everything, I think I'm going to keep these little bottles because I get a little bit infatuated with stuff like this. And these are glass. Like, this is hard. It's glass. So I did allow those to go on the shelf with the inside the house with the salt and pepper. And I know that's kind of weird, but um, a lot of times when I'm cooking and I'll have my daughter, it's like her job to put all the seasonings away and always tell her, you know, the salt and pepper live in the house by themselves. And basically all the other seasonings are their children and they live down here but this is not organized so i'm not even going to go there with that this is a really big seasoning salt we had gotten yesterday this was a small one and i see so this is a bigger one and this is a small one and i had gotten this little guy for thanksgiving and we had just gotten this one yesterday. My husband went and picked this one up for me because even though I had hurt my ankle, I haven't been cooking for a few days. So I guess he like, mama need to get back in the kitchen again. So I'm going to just set that right there for now. But um, yeah, I just thought that I would make a little small video while I have some time. Um, in another five minutes, I'm going to go ahead and put my meatloaf inside of the oven. And the reason why I'm putting my meatloaf inside the oven in five minutes is because um, they always say on TV your meat should sit out a little bit before you start cooking it or putting it in the oven. So basically... Um, I wish I had something to hold this up because it, it, my wrist is hurting. I can't really hold it that well. But the um, reason why I'm letting it sit out an additional five minutes is because I just gotten it out of the refrigerator. I should have took it out like... 
five o'clock and let it sit a little bit so it's not so cold because they say that you can storch or scorch storch is called storch not scorch because scorch is when it's burning a pot but storch is when it tastes like i guess rubbery that's my definition of it if i'm wrong leave a comment down below and if i am i don't care who cares that's just my definition of being storched is when um it tastes rubbery from it being too cold and then going into something you have to cook so anyways i am making um turkey meatloaf we don't eat beef the ground beef no more my husband can't eat it um so we do like a lot of turkey products like i used to cook steak like once a week every week and we don't do that no more but for thanksgiving we are going out we have reservations and the place where we're going has the best the best steak you would ever want to taste when i tell you it melt in your mouth and one year like i did a video eating and it was just so crazy i didn't post it because i felt like a obese person like a fat crazy obese person but that was how good it was when i tell you it's good it's delicious so he's going to have steak that night for new year's eve so we kind of getting ready for that and when I, that night that i told you guys that we went that he went to go get hoagies he went to a, a jewish place to get the hoagies and the meat is all kosher so it tastes really good it tastes awesome and he wound up getting a hoagie, and it was um, beef. He had got, um, it's called spiced beef. He had gotten that, and he was so scared while he was eating it. He only ate half, and I ate the other half this morning. Not this morning. What am I talking about? I ate the other half when I got off of work. <laughs> I can't think, and I can't talk. But uh, he was so scared while he was eating it because it just it doesn't sit well in his body. Everybody know that beef it leaves your it takes a longer time to process. So in his system it takes even longer. So um, what he did was he did eat his half and he saved the other half and I had it for lunch today. So I am making turkey meatloaf with green peas and mashed potatoes. And um, oh my god, oh. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. You see that, mother? Ooh. And it hurt, too. But I swear that your face and your skin, I know for me, it breaks out. Like, I haven't had my hair washed in two weeks because I was off two days. I didn't work Friday and Saturday, and there's no way I can wash my hair at home. I just can't do it. I cannot. It's just too much. And plus, I hate to have hair in the zinc. I'm so scared that it's going to be stopped up and all of that. Because I have a lot of hair and it does, it sheds. Like, I need a, another haircut. And, like, it's really greasy because I've been trying to keep the, the dandruff down. But look at that. That's a breakout. And that breakout is coming from me not, my hair hasn't been washed. It's, like, even swelling on to the side of my face. Mm-hmm. And I just wash my face, too. But, um, yeah, that's all. I just wanted to do a little quick little video, just a little small little chit-chat for tonight. I'll probably be back. I'm not sure. Um, tomorrow is my two days in one. I have to do two buildings. So I'll have my baby with me tomorrow. Her last day of school was today. She's not going tomorrow. So that's fine. Um, I have to do two buildings. And then... I'm all Friday and I work Saturday and Saturday is my last day and we're going to do a little Christmas party at the shop. I'm looking for this limited edition drink for my customers so we're going to turn up just a little bit, just a little bit since we don't have official um, Christmas parties. I'm going to make my own.